Welcome to Cloud Security Basics, a new series where we explain the ins and outs of securing your application on Google Cloud. Sound fun? Then stick around because in this episode, you'll learn about Google Cloud's physical defense of their data centers and hardware. Hello, Cloud Detective. You may have solved last week's question about securing customers' data, but what about securing the data centers and other physical hardware that runs your software? Even if everything else in your ecosystem is secure, what will you do about machine or supply chain related issues? How can you be sure the physical devices are being properly secured? Or what if some bad actor plants malware on your precious machines? What can you do to stop that? For your sake, I hope you know the answer to my question. Okay, here's what we know. Physical security has two components, securing the physical servers and the data centers that data lives on, and ensuring the physical and virtual systems that applications rely on are secure, like with a root of trust. If the physical devices aren't being properly secured, someone could steal a machine with your data on it, plant malware on it, or otherwise tamper with the machines, compromising the security of anyone who uses those instances. Luckily, Google Cloud provides a lot of tools and services to protect its users. When it comes to securing the physical premises and hardware, access to Google data centers is limited to a small number of specially qualified Google employees. Less than 1% of Googlers will ever set foot into a data center. Access to the data center floor is only possible via a security corridor which implements multi-factor access controls using security badges and biometrics. When it comes to securing the virtualization and hardware components software runs on, Google has designed a lot of custom tooling to protect its users. Google data centers have thousands of server machines connected to a local network, providing an initial layer of security. Both the server boards and the networking equipment are custom designed by Google to adhere to their tough security requirements, and Google's custom designed Titan hardware security chip can be deployed on both servers and peripherals, allowing Google to identify and authenticate devices at the hardware level. With security like that, you can be sure the hardware your software runs on is secure. Let's see a few specific examples of how Google secures the platform. So how does Google Cloud secure the data centers and other physical hardware that runs your software? Hmm. First, let's talk about securing the data center. On top of the technologies like biometric identification, metal detectors, camera, physical barriers, and laser-based intrusion detection, as you get closer to the data center floor, security measures also increase. Access to the data center floor is only possible via a security corridor, which implements multi-factor access controls using security badges and biometrics. Plus, data centers are routinely patrolled by experienced security guards who've undergone rigorous background checks and training. So that's the physical defense of data centers, but what about virtual and real hardware security? Well, there's a Titan chip. Titan is a secure, low-power microcontroller designed with Google's security requirements and hardware scenarios in mind. Titan provides a hardware-based root of trust that establishes a strong identity for a machine, which enables Google to make important security decisions and validate the health of the system. Titan offers integrity verification of firmware and software components. The system's strong identity ensures that there's a true audit trail of any changes done to the system. Tamper-evident login capabilities help identify actions performed by an insider with root access. All of these features come together to allow Google to securely run operating systems that have been verified and authenticated. And then there's KVM, or the kernel-based virtual machine that Google uses as the foundations of Google Compute Engine and Google Kubernetes Engine. KVM is an open source virtualization technology built right into Linux. It lets you turn Linux into a hypervisor that allows one host machine to run multiple isolated VMs. Plus, Google invests in additional security hardening and protections based on its research and testing experiences. For example, the Google security team performs thorough code reviews each time they adopt a new feature or version of KVM and uses an extensive set of proprietary fuzzing tools for KVM to further test it. Google removes unused KVM components like legacy mouse drivers, to reduce the attack service for potential adversaries to exploit. And instead of using the more complex QEMU emulator built into KVM, 
Google wrote its own user space virtual machine monitor and hardware emulator, which is simpler, better tested, and offers significant security advantages. These are just a few of the steps Google's taken to harden KVM for its services and its customers. So we see how Google uses hardware, virtualization, and physical security to protect its tooling. Mmm, and I see how to answer Brad Actor's question. I see you've been busy, detective. Somehow you answered my little question. How do you secure the platform, the data centers, and other physical hardware that runs your software? I see you found the crux of the argument. Google's commitment to security-first design keeps the platform secure. Google Cloud manages security throughout the data lifecycle, from the data center to the device, using a range of technologies and approaches. Very good, very good. You seem to have the basics covered, but be wary. I'll return with questions about forensic and preventative actions. You've been warned, detective. <laughs> so there you have it. That's another episode of Cloud Security Basics. If you want to take a deeper dive into how Google secures its data centers and physical hardware, check out the article linked in the description below. Next, we're going to start looking at some preventative and forensic actions. Stay tuned, because when it comes to cloud security, you can't let bad actors win.